Alright, so right now we're gonna go see the King Tut exhibition. So we're gonna go check out part one on floor number three. According to the ancient Egyptians, a man dies twice. Once when his soul leaves his body, and a second time after the death of the last person who speaks his name. The Valley of the Kings. Burial site of ancient Egyptian pharaohs. The ancient Egyptians credit their success to the blessings of the gods. It is a culture immersed in magic. Each day, the sun god Ray voyages across the sky. Each night, he travels through a dark and dangerous netherworld. Each sunrise, he is reborn to begin his journey. So this was King Tut's chair. When he was nine, he was named King of Egypt. So there are numerous items in this museum that have this yellow yellow tag and it symbolizes or it's stating it's stating that it's the first time out of Egypt. Or daggers. So I'm reading here that whenever the king died and they take all the organs out, these guys were provided so they could take care of his organs in the netherworld. So this is a live replica of King Tut. So that is the actual mummy. So far this exhibit has been awesome. I really suggest you guys come down and check it out. It is located right now in the California Science Center. Definitely check it out. Okay, that is the end of this exhibition on the third floor. Now we gotta go to the first floor. Okay, so we're entering the second part of the exhibition. Inside Tutankhamun's tomb, so ensure wonderful things for Tutankhamun in the afterlife. The living had to remember the dead and continue to speak their names. Pharaohs erected temples and statues to keep their names alive. We have a tomb diagram. Congratulations. 
We are sending passage from the Ed Chamber, the EMX, Beer Wheel Chamber, to the Treasury. Two weeks later, when Canardus arrives, they broke through the... The story of Tutankhamun captivated the world. Ancient Egypt had already begun to make its mark on art and architecture. King Tut ignited a pop culture frenzy and fashion revolution that can only be called Tutmania. So we reached the end of the museum. Okay, so all these artifacts in this museum are eventually going to end up in Cairo. So right now they're on a world tour, but eventually they're going to end up in Cairo, in an Egyptian museum. So that's the end of that museum.